Crews at the Chernobyl plant in Ukraine are nearly three decades into a decommissioning job that experts say could take a century to finish. They face high levels of radiation daily. The government is trying to keep them safe in various ways. The workers live in a specially built town 50 kilometers from the facility. They take a free train to the plant. A nurse is on board should they need any help. The government care goes much further than that, though. This edition of Nuclear Watch is looking at how people fled, uh, how people tied to the cleanup of the Fukushima Daiichi accident here in Japan are trying to learn lessons from, from Chernobyl. NHK World's Mamoru Ichikawa went there to find out more. Already origins from Japan visited Ukraine to learn how officials manage the risks workers face. The Japanese government has asked Professor Ryuji Okazaki to advise the operator of Fukushima Daiichi on ways to protect crews from radiation. We really want to learn from what you are doing here in Ukraine. A government official told Okazaki their practices are based on lessons from the past. Chernobyl was the world's worst nuclear accident. The Soviet Union rushed thousands of poorly equipped workers to the plant to tackle the crisis. Official figures at the time said 31 of them died within a few months. Many others became seriously ill. Government leaders in Ukraine started implementing changes after the country gained independence following the fall of the Soviet Union. The most important thing is to protect the life and health of workers. Thorough measures are needed to manage their safety and well-being to prevent the risk of accidents or illness. Professor Kazaki went to see how medical staff carry out health screenings on the workers. They periodically check for more than 200 types of illness, including heart disease. Doctors also focus on the eyes. That's where the effects of radiation usually appear. They monitor balance too. Health checkups are an indispensable aspect of our work. We're very grateful to medical institutions. Ukazaka learned that one national institution manages the results of these screenings. The centralized system enables doctors to quickly identify abnormalities and respond. The situation is quite different at Fukushima Daiichi. Screening workers is left up to the contractors that supply the facility with clues. They are not obliged to submit data to the plant's operator or any national institution. Professor Kazak says Japan has much to learn from what's happening at Chernobyl. Japan hasn't decided how far it wants to go to monitor the health of workers at Fukushima Daiichi. Ukraine provides an example we should follow. Okazaki says Japanese leaders should introduce a centralized system to collect health data right away. He's now preparing to submit his report to the government. Mamoru Ichikawa, Energy World, Chernobyl, Ukraine.